Hey, hey everybody, it is Ava Cherie, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset herself. I'm coming to you from a beautiful sunny day in the park, debriefing, getting out the office, doing what I do best, and just taking some time out for self. But of course, I am going to maximize this glow and this beautiful sun. And I just wanted to come to you today because I posted a Food for Your Soul quote. And I was being an encourager and an inspirer to someone who was away at college and basically felt abandoned, rejected. They reach out to people, they don't reply. So I said, you know, sometimes it's a good thing when people don't reply. Um, abandonment and rejection is a big thing for people. And with that, you have to motivate yourself. You have to know that you're in alignment with being the best self that you can be. And I said, if you're in alignment with what it is that you need to do, then you don't feel bad about it. You have to shake the dust off your feet and keep it moving and press towards the high mark. Sometimes when people don't reply or people don't have nothing to say, it's good because really, they don't have nothing good to say. So you have to take it and flip it sometimes. It's like your expectations would be high if they answered the phone or actually called you back. And your expectations of encouragement or them checking on you or just seeing how you're doing or, you know, concerned about your well being overall, mental, social, physical health, you know? Sometimes we have our expectations high of what we, of our loved ones and our friends and what we think they, t they should be doing and then when they actually do come through, it's subpar or it's not what you expected. So either way, I'm like, you prematurely been discouraged already. You prematurely been defeated and saddened. And just stay in what it is that you're doing. Stay in alignment with what it is that you're focused on, your goal, taking action steps to be the best you can be. And don't take it personal, shake the dust off. At least you have somebody that will respond to you. God's gonna always send something and somebody your way to motivate you and encourage you and lift your spirits. You just have to be open to it. We can't be in that dark, funky place when it happens. It's just ongoing issues with people feeling hopeless and unworthy of love and don't want to, and, and defeated and don't want to go to school and, and, and don't have a place where they feel safe. And it's the very same reason why I do what I do. Yeah, you could be in a cut, but it's something you could do every day. It's something you, somebody you could check on every day. Every day is an issue going on that you can support somebody. You can be a servant leader yourself in your community, in your in your homes, in your workplaces. Not because you're looking for issues and you're the fixer-upper and you want to do a project all the time. That's not what I'm saying. But it is grave issues affecting people's lives all the time. And I felt my spirits was so uplifted yesterday because of the phone calls I took from these young people. But when the Holy Spirit leads me to answer that call, I have to answer. And it's a great thing because it's a blessing to me as well. It inspires me. This was downloaded into us that we are supposed to share as a vessel, as being the person that someone can go to that's, that God is using for these people. So when you're present in the Holy Spirit, you'll be able to receive it and administer it when it's necessary. And I'm thankful for that because when they say they've been blessed by me, trust me, I've been blessed by them. And I just wanted to come to you today because I love you guys and I hope everything is peaceful and well in your homes and your lives. And just know that everything is going to be just as bright as the sun out here shining and that you have a chance to make it all right and be your best self every day that you wake up every step that you take it's not in vain and sometimes it's great to just step outside your box and just come out and sit in the sun and just you know be one with nature and just feel the breeze and see what it is that god has for you for that day so i hope you're enjoying yourself wherever you're at and i hope clarity and the light of life shines on you brightly and that all your goals are attainable and that are achievable and that you're in the mode of taking the action steps necessary to get to where you have to go. Until next time, God's peace and God's love to you. Ava Sheree.